Learning to draw can be done by anyone. That's what I think at least. As a help, you can go to an art school or take the hard way and learn by yourself. Back then, I was rejected to join an art school. I never completely stopped drawing though. That's why I will create my own curriculum and will show you what I learned so far to create one. Welcome or welcome back to a new studio vlog. It's been a tough week for me because I only had four days to finish a lot of things, including this video. Today's main topic will be kind of a research summary of how to create your own art curriculum. Why just a summary you ask? Because the research itself took me a long time within a short time frame of this week and I want to create a good one for myself and share it in the future with you guys. But before I can create my own curriculum, I need to research what it is, what topics to include, what are pros and cons of an actual art school and so on. This alone will fill a nice video and I don't want to dump a 5 hour monologue onto your precious ears. For your entertainment, I prepared some video footage and hope you will enjoy it while I will talk about the curriculum thingy. There will be notes on the screen for you if you want to write down something. Let's start! We celebrated my boyfriend's birthday last Sunday and I made a cake for him. I will link the recipe down below, but it's written in German. There's a small project I want to do in the next weeks with this cake design, so there's a good chance that I will translate it until then too. But for today, I will just show you the baking footage and talk about the curriculum. A curriculum. What a fun word, right? But what does it mean? A curriculum is a structured teaching plan for any subject you want to learn or teach. Teachers in schools and universities have a curriculum which helps them to do their job and teach students. In countries where homeschooling is allowed, parents have curriculums for various subjects for their children. The advantage of going into a school or university to learn something, art for example, is that you're kind of forced to show up to finish your projects in time and there will be teachers who will critique your work that you can improve. You will be forced to do boring stuff over and over again and study subjects that you're not interested in at all. If you want to study at home, you have to be disciplined enough to do everything needed to improve by your own. On YouTube are a ton of tutorials, guides, explanations and so on. The only thing self-studying is lacking is critique. You can post your pieces on Instagram, but being seen there is pretty hard. Putting your work on platforms like DeviantArt or ArtStation seems to be very intimidating. But nowadays there are smaller communities on Discord for example. You have to find a community with people who have different experience levels and critique each other. If everything works out as I plan, I will create my own Discord server with an area just for that. Learning and critique with all kinds of experienced people in art. Where to start to create your own curriculum? To create your own curriculum, you have to think about what you want to study. The most standard subjects for an art curriculum are anatomy, color and light theory, figure drawing, perspective, composition and storytelling, painting, made painting. These are very very good fundamentals and I will include them in my own curriculum as well because I want to learn all of the subjects. Even though I looked up a lot of information about own curriculums, sometimes there are some missing bits for my personal taste. In art school, you also learn about art history and I would love to learn that as well. Maybe not as deeply as in an art school, but knowing some art related topics from history, famous painting and artists will help a lot while studying. Also, I want to find pieces to do a master's study as a learning technique. Maybe some of the information of the own curriculums are missing because people also want to sell them. I also want to include fun activities while studying a subject and play around with a lot of mediums. My brain doesn't work well if I don't include variety into my daily life. My curriculum should also include the business side of art and I want to improve presenting my work into the world. This will be tough because I'm an introvert and leaving my safe space doesn't be feel very I, I'm, I'm hard. It, it feels hard, but there's no other way around it. Posting pieces that are not perfect on Instagram is already a good practice for that, but I'm sure there is more to learn. Even though the basic art curriculum includes animal drawing, I would like to widen this area a bit up and include some anatomy of animals that I really like. Studying different media, traditional and digital, will also be a big part for me. So, how's the cake? 
Because I wasn't able to get super nice strawberries, I did a berry mix with also raspberries and blackberries. This gave the cake a nice variety of texture while eating a slice. The cake turned out pretty well, but the chocolate base was a bit too dry for my taste. With a cup of coffee, it was still yummy and one slice wasn't making you feel very stuffed. If I will bake this one again, I will reduce the base baking time and add a tiny bit of powdered sugar into the cream. Let's continue with the curriculum building and the next crafting footage that I filmed for you. One of my best friends is celebrating her 30th birthday and she is also becoming a mom this year. I wanted to create a special birthday gift for her and came up with a nice idea. It is totally okay to show the process and the result because the video will go live after we celebrate it. I also traveled to Germany to celebrate her birthday, so there will be a vlog from Germany soon too. While you watch the crafty footage, I will list up more about my rough curriculum. Let's continue. One big thing to consider is time. Our brains need time to sleep and process what we experience throughout the day. If we study art and just make time like two times a month for a few hours, our brain just have two nights for processing what we learned. So making time for studying art like at least 10 minutes a day and I think 10 minutes a day is possible for everyone. Then our brain can process daily information. You shouldn't underestimate practicing 10 minutes a day. So time should be your friend. I know that many people don't have time for anything but time is your friend. <laughs> time is not your enemy. I can tell that from experience because while increasing my art studies with the curriculum I also need time to create products for my future shop and Patreon and work part-time as soon as I find a job. Doing all this work, study, taking care of my mental health and my relationships will not be easy but I want to be honest here and not tell you that creating or following a curriculum while having all the other responsibilities is easy peasy lemon squeezy. That also doesn't mean that it would be easier if you just go to an art school. It is time consuming to learn, not only to learn, to study and master a new skill. And for art, many skills, I guess? So I have all the respect to all the people who study art at home or in an art school. Being able to handle everything requires a lot of planning and a system that supports me and my goals. I'm working with Notion and continuously learn to use it better. There are some features to catch up on, but I will get there. If I have finished the first part of my curriculum, I'm very happy to also share how I manage to be able to handle everything. Would that be helpful? Let me know in the comments. But now let's see how we can break up the big subjects of the curriculum that will cover everything that I want to learn, or at least most of it. I want to learn to draw humans in different poses, emotions, outfits and numbers. To achieve this, I need to learn the anatomy of male and female bodies, expressions, cloth and armor drawings, drawing from life, understanding for textures and shapes, position and storytelling perspective, learn light theory and understanding for body movement. I'm sure that there are many more, but these topics can already be broken down into even smaller subjects again. I will not do that now. This video should give you only a brief overview, even though the whole topic is a rabbit hole. Let's move on. I also want to learn to draw animals that I like a lot. Additionally, to the set objects, I also will need to learn the anatomy of these animals and understanding for fur, horns and hooves. Drawing a nice environment for the humans and animals would be nice too. The first additional things that came up to my mind to learn that is botanical drawing, building drawing, landscape drawing, environmental design, the skyline drawing and understanding for weather conditions, movement and texture for water like ocean, lake, a pound, made painting and understanding for building textures and shapes and so on. I know that there's a ton of videos on YouTube to learn all the subjects but it will take time. There are also a ton of master studies I can do to make it more fun from time to time. But learning never stops. So I also want to include stylized techniques for different subjects like super cute drawings or very dark dangerous looking drawings. If you think this is a ton to learn, I can only say yes it is. But I want to learn all of that and thinking of everything makes me super excited. I wanted to do art since I'm a kid and I will catch up on this now. The next step will be to break down the set subjects into even smaller pieces and then maybe even smaller pieces and then practice and study. 
I'm very sure I will make more videos about those small subject parts and how I will structure everything. Making a video about it will help me for sure and maybe someone else too. This was a lot of talking and I hope you're still here. I finished my birthday present as you can see and for explaining what it is, it's a corkscrew hazelnut branch and I printed and cut out health and luck symbols from around the world and created this 3D looking charms. I want my friend and her baby to be healthy and happy and that's the message with this gift. If she allows me to film her reaction, I will see if I include it in the next video. Until then, I wish you a wonderful new week and a lot of health. See you in my next video. Bye bye. Kind of a research summary. Research summary. Research. Research summary. This alone will fill up a nice video and I don't want to dump a four up. The next footage will show you how I bake a special cake for my boyfriend. We celebrated his birthday last Sunday and I made a cake. Doppelt gemoppelt, okay. There is a small project I want to do in the next weeks with the, de with the cake design. So there is a good chance that I, will, that I will translate it until then too. Oh my god. I'm not, I'm not ready for voiceovers. The advantage of going into a school or university is to learn something. Oh. <laughs> if you want to study at home, you have to pee. To pee. <laughs> Please help. Send help, send an helicopter. Is critiquing a word? Hmm. Learning and critique with all kinds of experienced people and art. Even though I looked up a lot of information about own curriculums, sometimes there's sometimes there are more sometimes there are some missing bits of my oh, me. How often do you want to repeat a sentence until you have it right? Uh, because I wasn't able to get super nice strawberries strawberries <laughs> Like I said earlier our brains need to sleep. When did I say that? I'm stupid. I said that in my research notes, but I didn't include it into the voiceover text. Big brain, big brain, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> and an understanding for fewer, for four. I need to ask my boyfriend how to pronounce it. Be right back. <laughs>